President Donald Trump finally revealing much anticipated the so-called fake news winners. Of course, he put that tweet out telling people last night that they could be found on the GOP website. And sure enough, they could be. The problem is so many people went to it last night that it crashed. Now, the quote on the front of the page says 2017 was a year of unrelenting bias, unfair news coverage, and even downright fake news. Studies have shown that over 90% of the media's coverage of President Trump is negative. Now, he named a list of top 10 so-called fake news stories. The 11th one focused on the alleged Russian collusion that Trump has denied, calling it a hoax. Now, today, though, he did do a little bit of celebrating. He put this tweet out saying, despite some very corrupt and dishonest media coverage, there are many great reporters I respect and lots of good news for the American people to be proud of. Wow. We can keep it like this. We're going to win a lot of elections, that I can tell you. Trump in Pennsylvania today campaigning on behalf of Republican congressional candidate Rick Ciccone. The president touting the economy, even as the threat of a government shutdown looms large. Today they're putting on the floor a continuing resolution, which in itself is not the way to go, just to have another continuing resolution and how many more are there to come. I have confidence we'll pass this because I think members understand why on earth would we want to have a government shutdown? Congress voting on a stopgap spending bill today aimed at providing a short-term extension of government funding and fending off that shutdown. The Democrats say they will not support the bill, and it's unclear if there will be enough Republican votes to push the bill through. Now, if the bill fails, most federal agencies will be forced to stop operations at midnight Friday. The first point, which is most important, is to let the world let Africa, El Salvador, and Haiti know that America does not feel that way about them nor where they live. The Congressional Black Caucus and Democrats of the House Judiciary Committee announcing they will move to censure Trump over reportedly racist remarks made during an immigration meeting last week. Their proposed resolution calls on the president to retract and apologize for the hateful, discriminatory, and racist remarks and any offense that they have caused. But odds of the bill passing are long given the Republicans control Congress. And back to Twitter. Trump insisting in a series of tweets his views on a border wall with Mexico have not evolved. That's at odds with comments reportedly made by his chief of staff, John Kelly, Wednesday. Some Democrats who met with Kelly say he told them that parts of the border don't need a wall and that Trump did not know that when he was making campaign promises. Trump tweeting this morning, the wall is the wall. It has never changed or evolved from the first day I conceived of it. He also said some parts of the wall will be see-through and it will be paid for directly or indirectly by Mexico.